Hi, my name is Nicole Moore and I am a Juki brand ambassador. Today I want to show you the Juki J350 QVP. Let's get started. Included with your machine are genuine Juki bobbins. These M style bobbins are produced to specifically fit your J350. We always recommend using genuine Juki bobbins from your local authorized Juki dealer. Having genuine bobbins ensures less issues with your tension and stitches and creates a smoother quilting experience. Before we wind the bobbin, we'll reference our manual, which gives us step-by-step -step instructions and illustrations. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winding shaft. Pass the thread through the hole on the back of the thread guide base. Then you'll bring the thread up and around the disc on the top of the base. Wind the thread on the bobbin clockwise by several turns. And I also like to hold the tail of the thread and wind a few times in the other direction. While still holding the tail, push the bobbin lever towards the bobbin and the thread is automatically wound. Upon completion of winding the bobbin, return the bobbin presser to its home position. Take off the bobbin and then trim the thread with the thread cutting knife, which is displayed in this illustration. Take a look at this illustration, which is also in your manual. It talks about how you can loosen the screw of the thread guide base to make adjustments if your bobbin is unevenly wound. Let's talk about the bobbin case, and you'll notice that your bobbin has a spring inside. It's also known as a bobbin tension spring or a bobbin anti-backlash spring, and this will help prevent bunching up or creating huge globs of thread clusters on the back of your fabric or quilt. Not all bobbin cases are created equal, but your Juki J350 bobbin case comes standard with this feature. Let's be intentional on how we load the bobbin into the bobbin case. If you're holding the bobbin towards you, make sure the tail of the thread is coming down on the right hand side and running clockwise. Hold the bobbin case so that the opening of the bobbin case is at the bottom. Snap the bobbin into the case and bring the thread counterclockwise until you reach the slit in the case. Pass the thread through the slit and under the thread tension spring and pull the thread a couple of inches. The bobbin should run clockwise. You can adjust the tension with this tiny screw on the bobbin case. Pull the thread out a couple of inches and the bobbin should run clockwise. To lubricate the machine, position the hook as illustrated in your manual. Apply one or two drops of oil to the hook. After lubrication, turn the hand wheel to allow the oil to spread in the whole hook. Once you've lubricated your machine, you can install your bobbin case and close the door. Pass the needle first through the thread guide pin and bring your needle into the first opening of your tension controller. Make sure the thread goes in between the two discs and out the bottom opening. Next, bring the thread down to the thread tension dial. Now I'm also catching the thread on the horizontal hook, but that's not required. Bring the thread into a clockwise motion around the tension dial, then loop the check spring and make sure to catch the vertical hook and come back up and loop the horizontal hook. Bring the thread take up to the upper end of its stroke, then pass the thread through it. Continue to pass the thread through the thread guides until you reach the needle. Thread your needle from the front through the eye of the needle to the back. The LCD display panel offers many features that can easily be adjusted with the touch of your finger. 
For instance, you can adjust your speed by either pressing the plus to increase your speed or the minus to lower your speed. There's also different stitch modes that you can use. There's four standards to choose from. There's a cruise mode, precise mode, the base stitch, and finally the manual stitch. When you change stitch modes, other settings on the LCD display automatically change to suit the parameters of that particular mode. You can also determine what stitch per inch you'd like to maintain for the cruise and precise stitch modes. The needle up down button will bring your needle up or down with the press of this button. The bobbin estimating function is where you can input your bobbin thread length. Check your manual which has a rough indication reference and applies to a multitude of thread types for your convenience. When you press the settings button, a menu appears where you can adjust your handle lights. You can also adjust the needle lights and the volume from the screen as well. The Tools button has many higher function settings and also a handy calculator. The Kickoff function will help you activate and deactivate JSS with a touch of the pedal. The Custom button pedal switch gives you lots of options on how you want your foot controller to operate. Each selection has a companion image that is self-explanatory of its function. One of my favorite features about this machine is the thread trimmer, and you can decide if you want to use this feature through this function. The Juki J350 QVP has a built-in Juki Smart Stitch regulator system, and these image sensors precisely read movement, which keeps stitch lengths perfect, so you never have to worry about your stitches being different sizes. This is perfect for quilters who want to accomplish that high quality and professional project. For this example, I'm just using a charity quilt that I whipped up with some random jelly rolls. This is a perfect way to practice your stitches. So to begin working on this quilt, we need to load it onto our table. And it's important to keep your quilt top on top of your table so that it doesn't create unnecessary weight and drag from your needle. And this can be accomplished by rolling it to the back of the throat and then positioning the size of the quilt on top of your table. If your quilt is wider than 35 inches, you'll want to fold the sides on top of the table to help reduce the drag. The ruler foot comes standard with the J350. And while this foot is specifically designed for ruler work, you can also use it for free motion quilting. Using a quilting ruler is a great way to add precise lines and details to your finished projects. The ruler foot is tall enough to rest against the side of the ruler, which helps guide the stitches in the direction that you desire. Like with anything, quilting with rulers takes practice, but it's certainly a rewarding skill to master. There are a variety of rulers available that will work perfectly with your machine. To switch the feet, in this example, we're switching out the quilting foot for an open toe foot. To install the open toe quilting foot, simply remove the ruler foot and slide on the open toe foot in its place. You'll want to make sure that there's adequate clearance between your quilt top and your quilting foot. And an easy way to measure this is to place your project underneath your quilting area. Place a thin item like a credit card on top of your project and the placement of your quilting foot should easily rest atop the credit card. So once you remove the credit card, the distance between your quilting foot and your project should easily be achieved. I 
like to use these little blue discs to help me move the fabric underneath the needle. These are called grip and stitch quilting discs and they're designed specifically for free motion quilting. These can be used with any sewing or quilting machine. With the smaller disc in your dominant hand and the larger disc in your other hand, just hold the discs on your quilt and you're ready to begin quilting. Another fun accessory is the couching foot, and this set includes two different sizes of couching feet. The couching foot is used for sewing decorative thread, yarn, and much more. The glide foot is a great attachment to help you quilt over materials that would otherwise get caught up or hung up in the open toe foot or your ruler foot. It literally glides over a variety of surfaces to help you finish your projects. I hope you found this video helpful for your quilting journey. If you'd like to learn more about this machine, head over to jukiquilting.com and locate your nearest dealer.